Heidi Ho, Sage here on the uh, Sage channel, and I'm here today to talk to you guys about, uh, well, Space Engineers. It gets a lot of updates. It continuously evolves and changes. Unfortunately, it seems to have some serious issues that are not being addressed and actually some new issues showing up over time. So let's go ahead, pop into a game right here, and you'll see that I have a few enemy space bat drones or sprat drones or whatever you want to say the pirate mining people and uh, oddly enough they're not shooting at any of my structures around here you'll even notice that uh, over here on the uh, easy start spawn area some of it's been shot up pretty nicely but you'll also notice that uh, there's some other bits that haven't been shot up Oddly enough, the only thing these guys seem to be set on shooting is my character. So I'm down in a bunker, and if I run us outside, we're going to get shot at here. So uh, let me just go ahead and prove prove myself out here. Run us out here, and um, ta-da, they're shooting at me, and they've shot me. Now, I thought maybe the reason they're not targeting structures is because, well... Maybe it's because they're owned by the uh, Easy Start faction, you know? So I left that faction, went ahead and created my own faction, and I still got shot by them, but they are not shooting my new structures. And in fact, my new structures aren't shooting them. The turrets, apparently at this point in time, can only actually target the player character. And the game just updated. It's Thursday. That's why I'm making the video now, because I'm pissed. Because how do you not fracking fix an issue like this? Also, I should point out when I left that, of course, the turrets here started shooting me. The little dinky turrets down here. And I suspect, yeah, you can see a lot of the damage here. I think what happened it was, was my turrets over here finally started shooting at something. But they only started shooting at these little fighters here. Or to be more exact, I think they were just shooting at... The connectors because there was a connector here that got blown away in the past as well and you see i put a bunch of turrets in over here to try to get in the shit shit they're not shooting at anything but player characters and apparently maybe connectors completely illogical like i said too i left the starting faction thinking maybe just the speed sprat drones were not supposed to shoot at the starting faction that doesn't appear to be the case they're still not shooting at it and they're not shooting at my structures here which are in my new test faction i'm gonna even go ahead and show that right there proof test faction totally not working either and of course our test faction not shooting at the enemy drones as well oh and by the way if you want proof that they're all active and ammoed up we can go into here and you see that we got gatling turrets right here we can go into our inventory find the gatling turrets again and you see we got ammo in all those <laughs> So it can't be that. I've also switched this over to creative mode. I filled them all up with stuff, switched this over to creative mode, and still having the same issue. And if you're curious, uh, the area where we are right now is down here. And you can see we got a reactor filled up there, and another two reactors there. All turreted up. Everything seems to still be working. I even tried putting in small turrets. The game maybe only small turrets work, since the enemy drones are shooting at me. My character, not my structures. No, nope, no dice there. So that's brilliant. What else is on Sage's mind that's got him a bit riled? Well... A little while back, let me go ahead and find it. Merrick Rosa went ahead and did a lovely little blog post. And if you don't know, Merrick Rosa is the CEO of Keen Software House. You know, the guy behind it all. And, you know, his company makes some great games. They make uh, medieval engineers. They, they make space engineers, even though I would argue space engineers is starting to just get on my nerves a bit more than it should. Um, but let's see here. Uh, changes to space engineers release system. This was March 14th of this year when he said, you know, they're changing stuff. But looky looky here. All these facts lead to the conclusion that we still need to update and improve our approaches for both development and management, which is absolutely correct. And they've been trying to do that. They've been fixing a lot of bugs in the game, which is great. It's absolutely important. And I'm all for bug fixing patches in time when nothing new has been added, when it's just months and months of updates and fixes. But what pisses me off is this right here. We need to keep backwards compatibility for thousands of mods out there, as well as continuing to push development forward. So... Keep backwards compatibility for thousands of mods, many of which are now shattered in pieces on the floor. Sectan has talked to me about how tons of his door mods are broken now. I loaded them up. Some of his doors just don't open, don't work at all anymore. Uh, all of, you know, like two, three weeks back, there was that wonderful update where all of a sudden, for no fracking reason, they changed the way that uh, thumbnails are done. You probably saw this with a lot of mods, where all of a sudden you would press your G screen, and I don't have any mods loaded right now because I was afraid mods might have been causing the turrets to do something silly so i stripped all the mods out to test it but you'll see that um looky looky uh all these are fine but on some mods you'll see this big white outline because they changed the way 
thumbnails for uh, item icons were done. So for no reason. Okay, so that's a minor break, but they've been breaking mods left and right, it seems, sometimes in minor ways like that, but it's still annoying. And if you're like Sectan, that means you've got a lot of mod icons you have to go back through, load up, and save as a different file format. Okay, it's minor, but it takes forever. It's annoying. Even if you have a script that you just double click and it runs it all, that still means you have to load up your mod, run that script, publish the mod, wait for that to go out. If you're being a decent modder, you have to then update your patch notes to say what you did in this update. And then you can go ahead and carry on with the next mod you have to update. It is infuriating. And then today, of course, um, they changed the way that weapons work recently. And Sectan was telling me last night that a lot of his weapons mods have just shattered and broken now. Well, apparently, you know, they went ahead and featured Sectan's awesome mech mod. Let me go ahead and pull that up. There we go. Right here. This, oop, this thing right here. This great mod. It is a fantastic mod because it's a custom character that's a mech. And you can walk around in the thing. And it's even got its own custom little uh, respawn point and recharging point. And look, the door even opens up. It's great! But of course, you know, I suspect its weapons aren't going to work. Uh, you had to still equip a gun last time I checked it out. But, you know... Who knows how long this will work? Apparently, this is new stuff that they added to the game that allowed Sectan to do this. But at the same time, Merrick Rosa, back in March, said they were going to need to keep backwards compatibility for thousands of mods. And last night, Sectan was telling me that a bunch of his mods are broken and he's about ready to give up on Space Engineers. I don't know if he's going to. That's him. He says that sometimes and then he comes back because he likes modding this game so much. But Jesus Christ, it is infuriating to see stuff changing without documentation. And even when they do give documentation, it's usually, well, let's be honest, absolute garbage. Um, I know part of the reason is because their dev team doesn't speak English as a first language, which means everything has to go through translation or they, it gets silly. But for the love of the Lord, give us a date where you're going to say, look, we're going to stop we think most of the bottom level stuff is going to have stopped changing, what we're going to do is go ahead and update all of our demonstration mods. We're going to put out demonstration mods for a custom character, for a custom aesthetic block, for custom air vents, for, you know, give us the modding things they did in the past. Remember, ages ago, years ago, they put out all these demonstration mods which showed you, hey, look, this is our mod. We made a mod to show you how you can do this. Congratulations, we're updating those so they actually use the modern texture stuff. Because now there's like a bunch of broken emissives for custom equipment, like uh, my, my industrial cockpits and more mod. You'll notice that the LODs, the level of details on that, still broken last time I checked. Here, let's, let's check it right now. Maybe they fixed it in this last update. Okay, so there we go. Loaded up a world with, let's see, my mod in it. And you can see the emissive on this is working in a few spots now. So this is they apparently changed the UV layout for the emissive, which also means that this is never going to glow probably. So I have to redo the UVs on that, which means technically I'd have to redo the UVs and apply the material if the material name is changed to every LOD level on that, which I think I have at least two, possibly three. You'll also notice that I have a hard edge like right here. Look at the very middle of the screen. I get my mouse up right here. This hard edge, pretty sure that's usually not there because I'm pretty sure, in fact, the best way to check this is to do a, one of these, get our camera up here and buzz it into the cockpit. I'm pretty sure, uh, yep, yep, that's supposed to have more detail on it. Where's the detail gone? Oh, well, that's because the game is loading the incorrect level of details to objects. Even if I was to hop into this, presumably now right next to it, the LODs are still wrong. Like if you look at the uh, little hand thing right here, that's all warped. That's supposed to be like a pretty solid rectangle right there. That's all warped. This is all warped. The metal is all squished and stretched because they're still loading the incorrect LODs for mods. I'm pretty damn sure. I mean, it's a possibility that I've completely spaced and exported the wrong LODs and hooked them up. But I went through it about a month ago when I realized they were still broken and thought, maybe they're fixed. Maybe they're fixed and I'm mad. Sectan says they're still broken today. Well, last night. So I figured, you know, let's check it again. And sure enough, still broken. There's supposed to be a beveled edge here. So these edges here aren't so hard and getting that black line in there but nope nope there's a little bevel on the outside thank christ for that but the one on the inside you know where's that gone it's vanished you know it's freaking ridiculous so that's been broken the lod's on that have been broken for months now months now 
which is just stupid and ridiculous. Okay, maybe you're changing the background systems. That's great. Again, give us a god dang date where you say, listen, by this date, we expect everything can slip and change, we know, but we expect we're going to be done with any underlying background stuff, which is causing all of this freaking grief to me personally. And I'm sure anybody else who, I don't know, just tries to play the game and finds that their turrets aren't shooting at anything. But anyway, mainly about the modding at this point, we think we're going to be done with a lot of our underlying rework. We're going to release or re-release mods to show you how to do stuff. Because in the old days too, like let's just go ahead and do a quick show here. Uh, if we go to program files, uh, actually go to program files, Steam, Steam apps, common, uh, space engineers, SDK, SDK, mod SDK, uh, original content, models, and you can see, where is it? Uh, let's go to cubes for large blocks and go to large for, well, large blocks, uh, uh, cube for blocks, cube blocks. Now let's open up the XML for one of these, the antenna. Well, in the old days, it would have a thing here that would show you how to set up a material. It would just be linking to file paths. And you could figure out how to do that in the mod thing. Well, now it's all using material reference name equals blah, blah, blah. So it's like, oh, okay, so now I'm guessing you go ahead and hook this up. But word is that you can't even use a material reference in your mod. Okay, that's what Sectan told me last night. I don't know, grain of salt. Maybe that's wrong and you can, and he just hasn't tested it recently. But okay, maybe the, this gives me the idea that you're supposed to be able to set up your own material library, I'm guessing. Sectan says that's not possible. I went ahead and checked because if we look here at the original, it says there's a folder called materials, which means in theory, when I'm making my mod, I'm gonna make a folder called models and I'm gonna put my models in there. They don't have to be broken down. And then I'm gonna make one called materials and I'm gonna have an XML document like this, which is, I'm just gonna maybe name it MI materials for modular interior, next mod I'm working on, interiors, uh, materials for that mod, I mean. So MI, modular interiors, materials, MI underscore materials. That's what I might name it, you know? And then in here, it sets them up the same old way. Okay, cool. So you do material name, got you right there. And then you set it up the same way saying, okay, cool. We want the normal gloss texture to be this one. We want the color material to be this one. We want it done like a mesh. Cool. Well, I did that. Doesn't work. Doesn't work because I find also, let's see if maybe I'm wrong here. Fingers crossed I'm wrong, but uh, we go into content and there's no folder even called materials in the base game. Okay, so we go to data, we go to materials in here. Okay, material properties, is this it? Uh, no, no, this isn't it. This is something completely different. So I don't know what the hell you're supposed to name it, where the hell you're supposed to put it. And I'm, maybe they got a guide out there, but you know, their guides are, well, absolute rubbish. Remember, if we go to the Space Engineers website, Space Engineers, I think it was game.com. Let's see, G, yep, Space Engineers game.com. And we go to, let's pull this on screen so you guys can see what the hell I'm doing and zoom in a bit. Let's see, let's go to media about. I think there was 3D printing, hey, but modding and source code. I hear they've done some great changes on the technical side of the source code, but not for arch derps like me. But yeah, uh, modding guides on Steam, official modding forms, modding community. They did get rid of the um, one old link. Zock himself did that when he found out that there was still linked to uh, semods.com, which had been taken down the URL, bought out. Oh yeah, by the way, here's their uh, small ship printing thing if you want to print your ships out. That's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. Um, but anyway, uh, let's see. A quick guide on how to uh, do the background tech coding stuff. That's cool. But uh, let's see. A modding guide. Let's, let's click on these. Let's just get these open real quick and see what we find. So, uh, yeah, we got some custom LCD. Okay. Pistons fixed, you know. Okay, we got some modding stuff. But let's see. Um, modding and configuration. Let's see. Any of these. Planetary survival. Teldaries. These are mostly programmable blocks, aren't they? For how to use workshop and space engineers. Russian, that's cool. At least there's, it's well rated, so I don't know what it does, but hey. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see, uh, not exactly the most easy to use thing. A control module configuration, that's cool, you know. Control modulars, modulars, modules. How old is this? How outdated is this? Modding support for weapons. This is from by Merrick Rosa, a guide. Where was this? When was this posted? All oh, right, this was posted uh, November 6, 2014. But don't worry, it was updated November 20th, 2014. Who knows if this still works? 
might not. I know some weapons mods have been abandoned over time because they had glitches or didn't work right, so who knows if this still works. Here's a bunch of Cody Cody stuff that might even be completely outdated now. Who knows? Because I don't trust any of their old stuff because I know I've had, I've gone to some of like their transparent material thing to see if that works and it doesn't apparently work anymore. I've had a million and one errors and issues with it. Maybe that one works and they fixed it. Maybe I'm just a derp at it, but I've had a lot of issues. So here's, here's their modding forms. This actually looks like it gets some more stuff. I'll warn please if you intend to use mods. Uh, let's see, is this the, the ancient disclaimer copyright? Broken mods, if you have an issue with a mod functioning, typically after an update. Okay, this is just tell them that the mod is broken. That's cool, you know, that's cool. But yeah, this is just a bunch of shit that's really getting on my nerves about things like that. And I'd really like a set date where we know they're going to go ahead and actually be done, or mostly done changing the background stuff, and they're going to go ahead and... um make the you know the demonstration mod so you can pop them open and tear them apart the back way around like you used to with the the base game and well the demo mods that they had in the past which I'm pretty sure are all broken i'm 90 percent sure their like character mod is broken because i know all mine are and last time i checked they had that deer headed one oh good there's one of my mods completely broken sorry about that uh let's see where's the deer headed thing yeah is it not on here who knows if any of these work because remember they changed the animation that was a good thing they needed to change that animation stuff but um update the official mods guys update the official fracking mods i thought those were flashlights their eyes jesus christ anyway uh i'm furious i've been working on a new mod and you can see I've just loaded up. I'm pretty much nowhere in it. I've just got the base hallway blocks. It's the modular interiors thing I've been talking about for ages. I just got the basic block out of it. You know, I got the light blocks. Remember, you know, that when they started talking about uh, medieval engineers, they talked about maybe bringing compound blocks into um, space engineers. In fact, they were basically like, don't worry. We started a new game, but you shouldn't worry because everything we do in medieval engineers is going to help space engineers. And they listed a bunch of stuff, compound blocks being one of them, and they never fracking brought compound blocks here and apparently almost instantly began, well, not instantly, but very quickly began diverging game paths. So nothing progressive in medieval engineers could be easily brought to this game. These are all individual blocks for the most of them, where of course, maybe five or six blocks, I could do the same thing, but instead we have one, two, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen blocks at least. I can just scroll down here and count them. I don't have icons for them because that's going to take forever. But let's see. Oh, one, two. There's ten in each row, right? So we got twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six. Twenty-six mods, or twenty-six separate blocks to do all this, which we could do probably in like six or so blocks if we had compound blocks. Great, that's fantastic. But should I even keep working on this? Because, you know, who knows what updates might come in the next week when Merrick's promise, or at least suggestion that they're going to make sure that backwards compatibility for mods still exists. Well, if things are changing anyway, I might do something in here, get it up and running, and find promptly that it breaks. So what's the point in modding if something might just break in the next day? And by the way, last time I checked, Oh, it's, it's not doing it now. Thank Christ for that. But I had one of the doors hooked up with the old doors code, and I had to update it to the new door code. Of course, it still doesn't work because I don't have any models stuck in there, but previously it was crashing my game when I clicked on it, which is brilliant. Anyway, that's me ranting. That's me furious about just modding kerfuffles, me feeling like, am I wasting time working on anything? Is it all just going to get done and then promptly break? Why are there no decent guides out there? Why, where's the demonstration mods? That was better than any freaking guide. When you put a de demonstration mod out there, that's better than any guide because you can tear it apart and say, look, this is a mod just to show you how this works. You can tear it apart and look at it all and go, okay, this is for this, this is for that. That works all simple. Okay, I basically copy and paste it, rename everything and put it my own stuff in there. Okay, that works. Then I can copy and paste that and keep tweaking it and figuring it all out whereas a big guide which in the past they've done massive guides with just a bunch of technical jumble for like four pages it's like great 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 i'm sure the programmers love it uh, art derp like me someone who's derpy and artsy who sometimes goes cross-eyed when you give them a page of text well that's useless to me that's freaking useless to me maybe i'm just incompetent huh maybe that's it that's possible unfortunately but jesus christ i am just i'm i'm 
irritated that that uh, the turret stopped not working and then not being fixed today it was like the cherry on top it's like no there's no way in hell that you broke the turrets in your game and failed to notice for two fucking weeks fucking bullshit anyway that's it i'm done i'm ranting i'm furious um i don't know i'm, I'm just fucking there's a bunch of other stuff in my own life compounding it probably that's that thanks so much for listening watching dealing with the ranty ranty angry sage i shall see you all next time thanks so much for watching again tata -ta. and now my mic my, my my sound system is going all crinkly indicating it's derping out